welcome to Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okechuku. And now we bring you a lowdown of how the markets performed at the close of trading, Thursday, the 13th of January. The equities market retreated into negative territory today as the NGX All Share Index declined 0.01% to 44,604.74 basis points. Now, looking at the gainers list, Transco Nigeria was up 9.71%, GPLC was also up 7.94%, Regency Alliance was up 7.14%, Jais Bank rose 6.06%, and International Breweries was up 4.04%. On the flip side, Name Insurance fell 10.00%, Custodian was down 9.49%, USC Nigeria was down 5.21%, FTM Cocoa was down 5.13% and Jabal Gold fell 4.44%. However, NGX Group rebounded as the index rose 0.50% to 20 naira 10 cover per unit, with a total of 4.259 million shares traded in 131 deals worth 85.261 million naira. At the NASD OTC market, a total of 329,347 shares worth 9.254 million naira were traded, as the NSI climbed 0.39% to 748.16 basis points. At the FMGQ Securities Exchange, a total of 96.353 billion naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and Omo pay pass were traded on the platform. While the central bank special bills for the 28th of February 2022 finished off with one deal worth 400 million naira, at a discount high of 5.10% and a low of 5.10%. Now to the market's news. First Bank is set to hold its Nigeria Economic Outlook webinar tomorrow. Etel Africa to announce its nine-month result on February 4th. Okomo Oil Palm to approve the fourth quarter 2021 financial statement on January 27. Regency Alliance Insurance Board of Directors meet January 27 to approve its fourth quarter results. And that will be all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. Do join us again tomorrow. I'm Justina Okechuku. Bye for now.